Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can build your own VPN on Azure. And for that I have written a script here as you can see on the screen. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create this resource group and then this VM and then I'm going to open few ports as you can see here. And before going forward, let's focus on this script here. So if, we, if I go here to this area, the size is standard B1 LS. And I'm going to open up my browser and go into price information. Here, as you can see, I have selected Linux distributions and BS series in uh, East US region. As you can see, the price is $3.7 per month for this Linux VM. And it has only 5 um, GB of RAM. And this one is enough for doing uh, what you're trying to do. So I'm not going, I'm not going to be uh, using this region. I'll be using uh, Southeast Asia region. It has a higher cost here, but uh, yeah, it's, it's almost uh, $4. So, so let's go back to my uh, Visual Studio code and install this uh, VM on Azure. And for that, you need an Azure subscription. Um, if you go here to browser and you can get a free subscription uh, you'll you'll get $200 free you can try this one if you don't already have one so let me go back to my uh, my Visual Studio code and open up a console if you go here and type AC VM and list sizes you're going to see uh, all the uh, the VM sizes that Azure supports if I go if I go and scroll to the top you'll see uh, the one that we are using and uh, I can safely say this is the smallest VM on Azure as well. So it has only 512 uh, MB of uh, RAM and one course. So let me clear the uh, the console and try to run this script. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create this resource group. And you don't have to do all this with your um, Azure CLI. You can just use the uh, UI as well. But this is this is a cooler way, right? So that's why I'm doing it like this. So until that's that gets created, I can uh, go into my uh, Azure portal, and uh, as you can see, my resource group is ready. And you can just click here and go to Ubuntu server here. You can create the VM on Azure without using the CLI. So let me go back to my Visual Studio code. As you can see, the VM is ready. The next thing that we should do is open um, port 80 and port 1194 in our VM. So for that, I'm going to copy these, uh, these two commands and I'm going to open a new PowerShell here and I'm going to paste it. Yeah, as you can see, I'm getting um, a few errors. Uh, let me try this again. I'm going to copy this um, and paste this uh, variables here and then let's try to do it again yeah as you can see i'm adding port 80 and port 1194 and that is because um the uh, the open vpn server that i will be using for this is uh, is working on this port and i'm using port 80 to host a web uh, web browser the pache server to download my open vpn um, file yeah as you can see i have just uh, completed opening the ports the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my uh, the other PowerShell uh, window and go into my Windows PowerShell and I'm going to SSH into the VM that I have just created. So for that, I'm going to um, type this command and insert the password that I've given here. All right, I am in side of the uh, the VM. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, change my user to root user and then I'm going to copy this script here to update my uh, my package manager and install Apache server. And I'm using this web server only because I want to download the OpenVPN file. And the next thing is the uh, the most important step and that is installing the uh, OpenVPN server here. 
So there are four things that you should do. As you can see, I'm going to download this OpenVPN install script and then I'm going to make it an executable one and then I'm going to run it and I'm going to keep all the uh, all the settings as default. So let's try to do it. Do it now. I'm going to copy this script and uh, let's try to paste it here. So it has just downloaded it and uh, it has made it an executable and uh, yeah, I'm going to run it. So so it's all going to be default settings I will be using. I don't want to enable VPN um, IPv6 and yeah, I'm going to keep the default port here and these settings as well. And I don't, I don't want any compression enabled. So I think we are all good. So it's setting up the VPN server now. Right, now it's asking me my client name. Um, so I'm going to provide my own VPN here. And for this one, I'm going to use a passwordless client, but uh, you should use this one. I'm using this for simplicity and uh, yeah. All right, let's do a less. And as you can see, I have my OVPN file here. And I'm going to move that file to my web server that I've installed, Apache 2 web server. And uh, let's try to do it now. Uh, seems like we haven't installed Apache. Let's just try it again. Let's try to install it. It's a bit weird, but uh, yeah, let's try it again. All right. Now let's uh, move my file to the web server directory. Now I'm going into my Azure portal and uh, my virtual machine that I've created. I'm going to copy this address here and I'm going to paste it in my browser. And you can see um, the uh, main page of my Apache server. And I'm going to download the file like this. So it's going to be my own VPN. As you can see, I can download the file and I'm going to save it in my uh, desktop here. All right. The next thing that you need for this is the OpenVPN client. Uh, if you're using Windows, you can use this one. Or if you're using mobile app, you can, there are other mobile apps as well. And I have already downloaded this client. So let me open that up here. As you can see, um, I have it here. So I'm going to browse go to my desktop and select this file. So it's showing me, me all the uh, information here and I'm gonna click connect. Yeah, as you can see, we are in. Um, if I go to my browser and uh, search for something like where am I, you can see that I'm in Singapore and I have successfully connected to the VPN that I've created. Let's try to do another test here. So let me open up my terminal again and um, and let's install my uh, network monitor. So let me copy this command here and paste it here. All right. And as you can see, it's showing me the live traffic of the server. So let me go back to my browser here again and let's uh, let's try to do let's go into fast.com yeah as you can see the uh, my traffic is going through the VM that I've created hope you learned something new today and if you want to be updated with my future videos you can subscribe to my channel as well and thanks for watching